Over the last couple of weeks, we've spent time talking about the modern age of agriculture. When it comes to the online portion of agriculture, we probably have change happening at a more rapid pace than we've ever seen before. And we have more information at our fingertips about agriculture than ever before. Those two things are an absolute fact. But along with that comes some things that are less than desirable as well. And that's where the idea of the three A's of agriculture started. As we talked about agronomy and our need to make sure that people understand that it's a science, we began this discussion. Then last week we talked about acceptance when it comes to agriculture, how we need to end the bickering and we need to end the chastising each other over specialty crops and organics. This week I wanna transition that conversation into the third leg of it, and that's advocacy. When it comes to advocacy in agriculture, it's all of our jobs to make sure that we work together to promote our platform and to make sure that things are going in a desirable way. Hi, I'm Keith Byerly, Precision Ag Manager at Central Valley Ag, and this is your agronomy focus that corresponds with my article on the CVA blog site. So, what is advocacy? Advocacy is simply the advocacy of agriculture, and it's especially pertinent when it comes to online platforms. It's all of our jobs to tell the story of agriculture. When we bicker about those things like organics, we feed the beast and we make ourselves problems. What we have with today is a perception problem and an image problem for agriculture. If I ask 100 farmers what they do for a living, pretty much to a T, I'm gonna get some version of the answer of feed the world. If I go to an urban area and ask 100 consumers in a grocery store what farmers do, the answers are gonna be wide ranging and have a very different context than what farmers do. That's the image perception that we have to get over. We in agriculture today do everything practically different than we did 100 years ago, than we did 50 years ago, and even certainly than what we did 15 years ago. The problem is, is that we're not telling the story about the changes we've made. What the storybook images of farming are from the 40s and the Dust Bowl era and things like that are many people's perceptions of agriculture. It's our responsibility together to begin to change that. If we look at our Aquasystems platform, for instance, if I save two inches of water on one acre in your fields, that's enough water for the average American to use for the next 250 years. Do we tell that story to consumers? No, we don't tell those sort of stories nearly often enough. So that's my challenge for you today. For me to stand here and say that we need to focus on a story like that is a bit of a mute point. We need to each tell our own individual story. If the issue of advocacy for agriculture was as simple as telling a single story, we could rely on the checkoffs, on the co-ops and on the food companies to tell that story for us, but it's not. For advocacy to really resonate with our consumers, to really resonate with the people that are our customers, those stories have to be special. They have to be singular and they have to be your experiences and how you're making agriculture in the world better from your perspective. You have to tell your story and I have to tell mine. It's only then and then can we begin to stem the tide and work on this perception image that we have for agriculture. And so that's simply it for this series. When we talk about agronomy, acceptance, and advocacy, we talk about our presence online and how it's all of our job to up our game, to make sure we're doing things the right way, and to hold each other accountable. If we all started doing just a little bit better in this, we would be moving agriculture forward and have some real positives to build on for the future. So that's my challenge. Let's all start working on this together and see where it can take us into the future.